Hello, hello, hello. Ooh, my sound is still on, but the microphone is working. We know that for a fact. Good evening, everybody. Welcome. We are live and we're going to have some fun tonight. Um, hi, Patricia. Inge is here. Becky is here. Wilma. Inge. I already saw Inge. Uh, hi, Anne, Carla. Lots of people coming in. Hi, Annemieke. Sandy is here. Hey, Ingrid. Marianne. Good evening, everybody. Well, good to see you all. Um, it's been a while that I've been live on my own YouTube channel, but uh, well, you know, life got in the way. And I don't know if you happen to see my um, uh, message on Facebook that I resigned from my job and I'm going to focus on my business, which is YouTube designing for Elizabeth Craft Designs for the Art Journal Specials Collection. And that's going to be, uh, yes, short hair. I know I was fed up with the hair, so uh, uh, I was filming yesterday and I decided it's got to go. So, um, but yeah, so no, I'm, I'm taking a plunge, but uh, I'm really happy I, I did that. And that means I'm going to have way more time to do these kind of things, these lives, but also to prepare the lives, etc. Because it's not just doing them. There's obviously a lot of time goes into preparing them as well. So um, I don't know what happened to my eye. I, I woke up like that this morning, which was funny. Uh, good that you notice that because, <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. It's uh, it looks scary. It's not, I, even though I'm looking at Vampire series at the moment. But yeah, no, it's nothing to do with that. Um, the eye. Well, I'm not. Re I've not retired, Sandy. I'm working even harder. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, it's been a big decision, and it uh, I had to choose me. Um, so that is uh, uh, what happened on that side. On the positive note. That means I've got time to bother you guys even more with my makes. Hey, how much fun is that? So, tonight is going to be the kickoff for that. Um, hi, Belinda. Uh, well, nothing happened besides the fact that I gave up my job and going to focus on my business completely. Uh, so, I'm going to annoy you guys far more than I've already done. Hi, Angelique. Good to see you all. Well, um, and I, I don't know what happened. I just woke up like this this morning. It doesn't hurt. It doesn't feel weird. It's, it's, uh, yeah, it is what it is, right? So, uh, uh, it'll go. It'll take a time, I think, but uh, it will go. Thank you. Love the haircut. Yeah, I love it too. Um, and uh, it's really short. So, with this cold, I'm always cold. I'm always freezing. But now, obviously, I can wear a, a hat without destroying the hair, which is something that I like. Okay. Um, what am I going to do? Um, what am I going to do? I'm going to be working with the new ATC kit. Let's switch cameras around, shall we? You've seen enough of my red eye. <laughs> um, I've got a lot of stuff there uh, because I'm going to do some mixed media stuff, paints, gesso, pastes, uh, stuff. So, um, I'm going to be working in the ATC, with the ATC kit. Um, the journal can go to the side for now because I don't need that. Um, I've got all sorts of bits and bobs prepared and it's going to be a true mixed media um, uh, cards. The page, I'm going to keep fairly simple. We'll see, we'll figure it out. But I want to do something and it was funny because I thought of this uh, this weekend and then I saw Annette's live on Monday and she did exactly the same, which was, I thought, hilarious. So what I did was I cut this big page out. Um, do I have it to show you? Yes, I do. Let me get it. Come on, you can do it. It's stuck to the magnet. There we go. You know, this is a huge page die. Uh, so I've just cut it out till here. Um, hi, Andrea. Trimmed it off. Hi, Saskia. Um, uh, trimmed it off. So I've got a second uh, part to use because this is the part that folds. Uh, so I turned it off there. Does that make sense? If not, let me know. So I've got another thing where I can fit in two ADC cards. So I'm going to make two, um, four, I can't count, four ADC cards. Uh, but yeah, it, it was hilarious that Annette did exactly that, what I prepared uh, on Sunday. It was funny, but yeah. So no, no, no glue yet. First, I want to edge my page and I'm going to do that with my frayed burlap which has been a bit neglected since I've been constantly using uh, if you think what is he doing I'm trying to find my frayed burlap there we go um, I've been constantly using other colors to edge lately so let 
So, just gonna etch that. So bear with me while I do that. And, um, because I want to get this page out of the way, and then the fun bits can begin. Well, this is fun as well, the making this, but you've seen me do this before, I think. So I'm just going around the edge like that. So, what do you say? <laughs> um, well, that's good, Belinda. You love it. So, I'm hoping to give you some inspiration today with that. Okay, let me quickly glue this together. That's not rocket science. I'm just going to do that. Fold this down. And then this one fits here beautifully. And then it will fold in the middle. Just let me make sure that that is straight. As it is not now. There we go. There we go. That's better. Now the glue is dry, of course. Mm. Yeah, I know. It's the same here, Belinda. Hi, Sandra. It's the same here. Um, yeah, don't expect packages to be that quick. Uh, and sometimes it's there within a day, which is amazing. And the other day, other times it can take up to a week. From the same, uh, same company, which is funny. So, I'm just lining this up. Now, I did this the exact same way as Annette did it on Monday. So, if you want to know how I cut this to size, check out Annette's video from Monday, The Life at Elizabeth Craft Designs. Speaking of the life, I'm going to be live tomorrow at ECD. So, that's going to be fun as well. So, now I've got this page with four slits, four pockets for my ATC cards. Yay! Um, so yeah, uh, that's it uh, today. Oh, Cynthia, that's weird because I've got it on my phone here and that's perfect. So it could be your Wi-Fi or maybe restart. I don't know. Um, okay, so yeah, it, I'm twice this week uh, and daily with the December Day by Day or uh, December to Remember challenge because I'm posting daily. Not in the weekend though. I'm not posting over the weekend. I'm going to make the prompts over the weekend tomorrow at the live and then uh, I think five days, uh, well, seven videos of David is enough in one week, right? This can dry, this can go to the side. Don't need that for now. So for my ADC cards, I'm going to put all this to the side before I mess it up, knowing me. <laughs> so I've got four. ATC cards, and these are cut out of mixed media paper. Um, so, what I'm going to do first is take my white gesso. This is from Dutch Dubadoo. Any white gesso will do. There we go. And I will just brush that on. Like so. Am I in frame? Yes, I am. Because I'm going to do a lot of different stuff to this, so... I want that to be ready for it. There we go. That's one. Let's do the other one. No, it's because of the... Uh, the brush. I don't have a shorter brush. I should look into that. But okay, nothing we can do about that now. I'm just 
quickly covering this because there's nothing exciting about this, but I just have to do it. And here, you see, my fingers are getting messy already. But it's just gesso. It will wipe off. So, quickly doing that. Brushing that on. And the last one. Hey, else. Good to see you. Having some ATC fun this week. There's something on my brush that's annoying me, but okay. Doesn't matter because it will be covered up anyways. So that's that. This goes in the water. And this can be closed for now. Next, I will clean up my mess. So bear with me while I do that. And that's the thing with gesso, it dries really, really quick. Yes, cells, new haircut. I was fed up with the long hair. I thought, well, you know what? I don't have to be in a suit all day anymore. So uh, let's be, let's make it easy. Quick and easy haircut this is. Well, that, the, the, funny enough, the haircut took forever. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> I saw you got the blisters from the glue gun, right? And let me dry these. The haircut of freedom, I like that else. I like that. Hi, Anki. Nearly dry. And you know what, guys? This ATC set has really got my creative juices flowing again because I've got so many ideas. And enough time now to do it. Yay! Um, so, yeah, um, you should drink alcohol. <laughs> right. I shouldn't promote that, but you know what I mean. Um, okay. I've got a very old, flimsy piece of paper here, but I do like it, and I'm going to tear that ap apart. Even faster, Femke. I'm getting comments that I'm already crafting too quick. Thanks, Ans. Hi, Lilian. Well, I don't have a new job. Um, uh, tomorrow is my last working day, so I've got a meeting tomorrow um, saying farewell to some people. And then um, that's it. Then I'm, I've got a holiday. Officially, I'm leaving the uh, 1st of uh, January, but yeah, because of Christmas holiday, etc., I need to uh, uh, yeah, finish my holidays holiday days. So uh, yeah, tomorrow is my last day and then I'm going to um, just focus on my my business that I already have uh, for designing for ECD and doing workshops. That's another plan that's in the making. Um, more info on that will follow later on, but yeah, that's what the plan is. So there we go, that's on there. <laughs> well, yeah, that drinking alcohol and using the heat gun is not a good combination. Yes, else. 
You're not getting rid of me that easy. <laughs> Okay, just another one here. So yeah, I'm now in the process of making plans of what I want to do with the, the time I've got. And of course, I will continue to design uh, for ECD as I've already done. So it's not going to be more releases or anything. Uh, it's just, yeah, it gives me time to, to focus on, on the designs and making packaging and uh, yeah, just have more time to design. So I think that will improve the designs as well. I hope. Ah. Well, Marilyn, uh, if you know of a store that is willing to get me to Canada, to Calgary, I will come. And if we do another retreat in Banff, or, then I will be there, definitely, if else will have me. But I'm pretty sure that's the case. Um, but if you know any stores that want to fly me in, uh, contact me. Definitely, also more samples and... Um, well, just in general, I've got more time to prepare things. And I always think, every, one of my philosophies in life is, is an, anything you give attention to growth. And um, so that's what we want to do. Does that make any sense? So anything you give attention to grows and uh, so that's what I'm going to do. Give attention to my business. Well, Raidun, I would love to go to Norway as well. The same goes. Anywhere you know, any shops you know that, that organizes workshops and they want to have an international me, <laughs> shout. Yeah, yeah, I know. We've already, uh, well, next week we've finalized things uh, else. So I'm going to Florida for me, uh, to Michelle to teach. That's going to be fun as well. Okay, this now has to dry a bit, but I'm not going to wait for that. Uh, you know me, I'm impatient. So yeah, fun things are coming, definitely. Okay, this is texture paste by Amsterdam Acrylics. Uh, you can use any texture paste you've got, but I just, I really like this stuff. Um, I don't know why, it's just, I like it. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that through the stencil. This is the stencil that came with the Lost in the Woods kit, which should be available for stores to buy again. So, that's good, uh, because we know some people missed out on it. So, I'm just putting that on there. So, as I said, this is going to be truly mixed media. It's going to be a lot of different textures and colors, mediums, and we don't know. Of course, you hope that your company grows. Um, but it's always wait and see, right? So there we go. It's fun to cruise, right? Well, who knows what the future will bring. That's the exciting part about this, guys. I don't have a solid plan for the future, but I'm pretty sure the future is going to be exciting. So, and as long as you've got that feeling and you've got passion for what you do, that's the main thing. Yeah, Michelle has a shop in um, Florida. But of course, I will be doing workshops here in the Netherlands as well. I'm already speaking to some people about that, but I can't say anything solid yet about that. But yeah, that will information will come as well. Uh, so fun things, fun things. Okay, now this needs to dry now. Now I 
Now I have to be patient. <laughs> So let me dry this quickly. But I already like where this is going. Oh, did I tell you I didn't have a plan? I'm just whacking it on here. I forgot something, which I realize now, but I will do that now. What I'm going to do next, ooh, I need to get rid of this thing because it's not looking good. <laughs> Come on, you can do it. Go there. There's all sorts of stuff on my uh, garbage can, so I can't do anything with that. Let me clean my brush. Um, this is clear gesso. So the first one was white, this one dries clear. And I just want to use that to cover up my book paper, which I should have done first, but no, nah, it'll work out fine. Is this dry? Not yet. So I'm just gonna go around the edge of that so that at least the edges will be secured. There we go. I know, Sandy. Um, I've got that, actually. But with these, they never dry out. It's just the Tim Holtz ones that dry out on me, for some reason. And I've got the press and seal on those. But press and seal is not widely available here in, uh, in the Netherlands. So I had to get it from the US and then it becomes really expensive. So I might as well buy a new bottle. Oh, you see me bigger now. <laughs> Hi, Asa. How do you pronounce that? Asa or Asa? Scandinavia is in the house. Good to have you here, guys. Good to have you here. There's a lot of drying time involved, guys. I'm sorry. But it's going to be fun. I hope you like it. Mixed media. Our projects like this. Don't burn your fingers, David. I'm just helping that dry. Normally I would let this air dry, but yeah, during a life, that is not gonna happen, so. Well, this should be dry now. Yes, it is. So that means I can come back in with my gesso. So again, this is just clear gesso that I'm going to use to protect. There we go. That's now I can cover up the rest. Because this is, as I said, very delicate uh, book paper. So, yeah, 
dot jessos can go. I just want that is just me. Um, love that, right? I'm just downside is that I forget things like because by all means I am not a mixed media specialist like Rihanna. Uh, Rihanna is brilliant. Uh, I'm just following my gut. So, next, I'm just going to soften things up ever so slightly. So, I'm going to take my white gesso, dab that off in the lid, so I've got a minimum amount on there, and I'm just going to soften that up a bit, so it's not that harsh, hard, so I can't speak. Not the hard edges. Oh, that's good. You love it. I love the ATC kit. Um, and I'm, I've, I've never done anything with ATCs, as I explained, <laughs> uh, when else asked me to design it. But uh, I'm falling in love with this, this, these little art pieces of art um, that are meant to trade and to share with others. Um, and in the end of the day, that's, that's something really fun, I think. But you see how this is being pushed back to the background now, which is what the intention was. So it's really getting softer and... Well, that's the thing. It's it's yeah, and it's really like I'm I'm using the ATC set in my December uh, to remember journal, and it's really fun to do. It's really really fun to to flick through it, and uh, uh, yeah. So I'm liking it so far. Hi, Yoka. Welcome. Oh, that's also nice, Sandra. Just start making ATCs. You love it. Especially because they're smaller projects and as you always mention, you're not the fastest crafter, uh, which is by all means not a wrong, bad thing. So you might love the smaller projects. Yeah, me too, Else. I've fallen in love with it. Right, now, this is very boring and plain now, but I do, love, I do like it. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to spray this with some water. I just tried it, I know, <laughs> but yeah, and I'm going to dab some Freight Burlap spray stain on there and let that run in between the nooks and crannies of the stenciling I did. That's why this stencil is perfect for it. So I'm starting off with frayed burlap and then I'm coming in with walnut stain. Is it walnut stain? No, ground espresso, even darker in a minute. But first I want this to form a base and I want to see how dark it gets. And just let that run in between the cobblestones, because that's what they are, just in case you were wondering. Oh yeah, that's YouTube for you. So, 
so. And then what I'm going to do again is spray that. And I'm going to let that run through in between. Like so, and let that dry. Spray this again. Oh, I love this. Well, we're thinking about that. <laughs> Not spoiling any tea here, but yeah, thinking about coins. Hear that else? We need coins. Sandra. Children heads. The Dutch word for cobblestones is children heads. Ah. Something completely different than what I'm going to do. I saw her project. It's going to be fantastic. Right, ground espresso. Just going to dab that on there as well. Concentrating it a bit more here at the top. You see the different layers you get when you do it, build it up like this. Okay. And let that run again. Help it along a bit that it's going where you want it to go. And when you're happy, if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Just let it sit. But I love doing this with getting my hands dirty. And this is just making the base, right? There we go. Okay. Uh, you guessed it already. This has to dry. Okay, I will tell you the colors I've used while I'm drying this. Um, I started out with white gesso, then clear gesso, then uh, now I used uh, ground espresso in the oxide formula, and I used freight burlap. I'm having some crackling going on there. That's fun. Here as well. Hmm. Not mad at that. Yeah, I really think they're turning out really cool. I'm not worried about the back. I will back that with a, a clean card. Because that's one thing we know for sure. Me and mixed media, that will not mean a clean back. Okay, now, what I've got here is um, acrylic paint, 
This is a really nice uh, beige color. It's called Buff Titanium. And uh, I'm, what I'm going to do, if I can open this, this is from my paint pouring days. A long time ago. Well, not that long, but yeah. Uh, I'm got, just going to take my finger, dab it off, and I'm just going to use that to bring in another type of media and to, yeah, make them Again, make it a bit softer. A bit of water. I like that. I like that. Okay, that's one. I'll work a bit quicker. Oh, I've time enough. More than enough time. go. Hi Mana. Well, what's late? Nobody's ever late. I mean, it's, we're having fun. If you're here sneezing, that's Daniel. He's having a cold. He's sitting downstairs, but he sneezes like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> you would turn deaf if you sit next to him. So this is finger painting. Do you remember as a kid what you did? In school, finger painting. Well, I I did, and uh, yeah. But well, you see how that really softens everything up again. So we've used a lot of different mediums already. And I love it. Okay, now that's the benefit of acrylic paint. That dries really quick. Oh, smarty pants. This was the one I used for the gesso cap that was leaking. Oh, do, 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 do. Right. Well, Daniel has the same, uh, that's for sure. I love how these are coming together though. That is definitely, um, yeah. You know what? Why am I using this one? This one is a lot quieter. It's fun, right? Exactly, Sandy. Look at the state of my hands already. But I'm loving what I'm seeing here. This, this combination is working out great. Um, so I'm not going to introduce another, because I think this is enough. I really want this dry now. So. But Tracy's also doing a lot of mixed media, right? Well, not necessarily. Uh, I've seen people making 10 in the same. Uh, I've seen people, else told me she saw one lady had 100. Um, and so you can make threes, fours, that doesn't really matter. Um, so I've got three to trade and one to keep myself. It's really up to you what you want to do. There's no, I've, I've been diving into it because I didn't know. <laughs> I've been asking a lot of people. Maybe it's different per country because I've asked people in America as well. But yeah, that's what they've told me. 
Okay. Now, what I'm going to do next, I've got some crayons here. This is just brown from Caran Dash. I'm just going to go around this and yeah, scribble around that fairly. That's what I'm doing, just because I can. And then with my finger, I will just smudge that out a bit. Just to intensify some bits and bobs there. Not much, but some. See what that did? Yeah, there you go. You see, lots of different ways of doing it. I think three is the minimum you make, but I've also made once, so <laughs> that's not really. So doing the same, and this is just giving it some depth again, different layer. Yeah, I like that. You see the difference? It's just giving it a bit. Now, if you have the distress crayons, you can do this. You don't have to have the Caran Dash, but I've got them, so I might as well use them. Uh, the distress works the same way, or the, what is it, Dina Wakeley's? I don't know, the other ones. I don't know, all these names confuse me. Dean Wakeley, I think it's the the one that makes the crayons as well, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. I've got them. Why don't I just look? Yeah, Dean Wakeley, scribble sticks, they work as well. Uh, haven't thought about that yet. What the name could be? Something with mixed media. And there's going to be butterflies on top, so. There we go, that's that. So, the base, I think, is done now. Yeah, nothing can stick out of this. So, what I've got now, speaking of Tracy Belinda, Sizal Nest. Um, she's the one that infected me with this stuff. Um, so, what I'm gonna do is, I'm just going to make A little round thingies with that. So there's one, there's three. So, any ideas for the name? You can give it a name. Yeah, oh, that's the, uh, Cassandra, that's the challenge for me as well in this, because, well, I don't, as Els knows, don't color between the lines. <laughs> but the size is fixed, yes, definitely. But it's really fun, uh, it's, it's really coming back up. Um, it, it's, n it's not really been gone, I think, but... Okay, so I'm building a nest, sort of. This one's too big, I don't like this one. Let's do that again. So, that's that. I need my scissors sort of trim off. A bit. This one's too small.
yeah, for this series, what would the name be? There we go. And then on top of that, I want some. Here, I've got it. Still here? Yeah, something fell on my. <laughs> uh, Oh, I knew I forgot something, but that's going to be on top of that. I'm loving how this is coming together. David's gone wild. Huh? Could be. So, now let me get that one thing that I forgot because I think I'm gonna. No, I'll try it without. I was thinking about using my heat. Uh, my glue gun, uh, but after seeing the blisters from someone here, not naming and shaming, uh, <laughs> I ooh, that would be me. So I'll try with the nouveau glue, I think that'll work. So, nouveau, here you are. A walking, we will go. Mm. So what I'm going to do first, before I do anything else, is I'm going to take a butterfly. And these are butterflies that were in the Back in Time collection um, that I had in my stash. So I'm just, I'm not going to color them. They're going to be on top there. I'm just grunching them up with, uh, what color is this? Ground Espresso which is also in the background, so that's cool. Don't fly away from me. Yep, that's coming together nicely. Well, normally I use the Art Glitter Glue, but in this case I'm going to use Nouveau, because Nouveau has a bit longer working time, uh, and it um, uh, I know that from my card making days that that could work better so let me just do it like this so I'm going to put on a blob of glue here I could also take my kids choice glue for that I'm just thinking that now there we go so I'm putting a big blob on the uh, butterfly, pressing that down onto the sisal nest, really pressing, and then I'm going to put a lot of glue on the back of this. Yeah, hot glue would help with this, but this works as well. Just takes a bit longer to dry. Okay, and that's going to go on the top there. So at the top half. I'll fly away. That's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah. Who agrees? Fly away. Me like. I know I've got them and I always forget them. 
You know me by now, Belinda. I've got the tools, I just don't use them. But then they're somewhere buried in the back of a drawer and I don't know how to find them, so. Okay, butterfly number two is gonna go on there. And there we go, pressing that down. My fingers are sticky as well, so I'm just trimming off all these longer bits that are sticking out. Don't want them. Go away. There we go. I really love how this is going. So, bear with me guys, I'm, I'm nearly done. <laughs> now my Nouveau glue is gone. So, picking that up with the glue and then putting this behind there. Big blob of glue there. And just press it down and that will make sure it will stay down. I love that texture and the hmm, yummy, yummy. Okay, last one. <laughs> I know, well, <laughs> good luck with that. <laughs> yeah, but true, Stephanie, that's also part of, of uh, uh, not having time, um, that it's messy all the time because you don't have time to clean up and then the next project is, has to be finished and this, so it's a vicious circle. So it does work like that a bit. You didn't know what existed. You know what, my sewing machine is standing right over there, um, but it's standing over there and not here. So I, I constantly don't use it. <laughs> But yeah, I would love to do that more on projects as well. I know they are moths, but I like to call them butterflies, right? They can be whatever you want them to be. I grew up with a mother said, you can be whatever you want to be. So that same would go for these flying creatures. Um, so, that is that, and then I've got the last little thingy to go on there. Um, I've cut out some of my words that are going to go on there. So, I'm going to use my art glitter glue for that. Stick that on there. Yeah, I'm really loving these journal phrases. We've got journal phrases one, journal phrases two, and we might have journal phrases three coming up somewhere next year. That may or may not be the case. <laughs> I'm really loving this, guys. I'm really, really, really loving how this comes together. So this was fun because what I did here is I stamped with black and bossed with gold, but you can still see the black peeking through, which is also fun. Flying creatures, exactly. Uh, I forgot the name that was so good that I liked. Petty for the win. Yeah, but what was it, Petty? I'll fly away. Yeah. So, these are nearly done, except for that I want to, I've got a black crayon here as well, I'm just going to um, 
go around the edge with the crayon. like so and a bit along the edge here and again with a wet finger I'm going to bring that in a bit and then I'm going to take a very small brush thingy There we go. This is it. So, quickly doing that with two of the others. This might be handier. Yes. Then I don't smudge it all over my white thingy there. These are the, I will show you, Karen Dash, Karen Dash Neo Color Aquarelle crayons. You can do this with the distress crayons as well. These are more pigmented and softer to work with in my humble opinion. But uh, yeah. And they activate more easily with the water I think. Well, you get the gist, right? Uh, I will finish them all later. And I will put some uh, clean cards on the back. I will stamp on that and then I will put the theme. Uh, let me write that down. What was it? What was it? Uh, can someone repeat that? Oh no, time to fly away. Because I really like that scrap piece of paper. Time to fly away. That's going to be the title of this series. So that's going to be in here. And of course, I will decorate this as well. But yeah. There we go. They fit in there beautiful. So this is the series. I hope you like it. No, I'm leaving it at this. Um, normally I would do white splatters, but I think there's enough going on. So yeah, uh, these are really nice um, ATC cards, I think. And I love doing them in mixed media. Um, absolutely adore that. This I will decorate later, but that's gonna be in the journal with these cards. Um, and when we have an event, I've got things to trade. So uh, if you come to a workshop that I'm giving, bring ATC cards, we can trade. That's fun. So that was the live for today, guys. Let me switch cameras around. There we go. Hello, me again. Um, that was the live for today. And uh, thank you for joining me. I had a blast. Uh, I will be back next week, Thursday, for a live. Um, so yeah, I'm going back to my regular schedule now. Um, tomorrow, tomorrow I'll be live at Elizabeth Craft Designs at eight o'clock Central European time and 12 p.m. Mountain time catch me there. That's going to be fun. So looking forward to seeing you tomorrow if you're there and otherwise I'd love to see you for the next one. Thank you for joining me and have a fantastic evening, day, wherever you are. Thank you. Bye.